Imagine a trial where judges are replaced by robots. In Europe, this isn't a complete reality, but neither is it totally fiction. Technological development can help the world of justice by analysing information and helping decision-making. The Council of Europe has therefore established the first charter for the use of AI in the judicial world. Clementina Barbera, head of the unit of Judicial Reform and Cooperation for the Council of Europe. Artificial intelligence is used to detect uh, the risk of the, the dangerosity of a person. So, and uh, through analyzing a series of decision again and data, it will be able to tell you if the person is at low risk, medium risk, or high risk of uh, committing again a crime. This is also for use, for instance, in determining the duration of prison sentences. According to Carmentina Barbaro and other experts, AI exacerbates discrimination in court cases, making just as harder to obtain. A recent study from University College London found that computers were able to predict over 500 decisions from the European Court of Human Rights with 79% accuracy. People um, start using artificial intelligence and, and they, will, they will expect the outcomes to actually predict what judges are going to do. Uh, and so if judges do not perform according to the expectations raised by the artificial intelligence, that will be a legitimacy problem for the courts. If robot lawyers are already in the US, European countries are still in test phase, but many of them are now developing the use of AI in their judicial system.